Okay, there, there's a little bit of confusion about how to, I guess, inject, uh, header files into, uh, 3DS rele ROMs, scene releases. So, this video tutorial is gonna try to help you out with this. Uh, <clears throat> first you'll need a few tools. You'll need, Gateway ROM Patcher version 0.2. Uh, you can get everything you need from the first post in uh, the th the the thread about scene dumping with uh, Gateway 2.2 online. Um, you'll need the Gateway ROM Patcher. This is probably the most important part because without it, you can't inject. Uh, you'll need a hex editor in order to edit the header files that ma that match the game correctly. And you can get, this is another important post, is this one by uh, Eliac11. Uh, it tells you exactly uh, what is, you know, what hex is, hex is what pretty much. Uh, so see the first one is going to be the firmware version down here, and you can look at it on the fifth line, or the, f and the fifth line, yeah. Uh, so this one, this one is 4.5, uh, and I'm doing Pokemon, uh, X, I believe. And see the thing about this is you need to basically know what the header file is uh, for Pokemon, or whatever game you want to play, you have to edit the hex so it matches the game, basically. And the three categories are firmware, file size, and card type. Um, these two are, the first two are self-explanatory, the card type is a little different. Uh, basically, it's, it's, from what I understand, it's basically how the game saves. And very few games, I think only three or four games, including this, the Pokemon X game, use card two. So I'm gonna go ahead and hex edit, uh, the Metal Gear Solid 3D, uh, card, uh, four gigabytes, which apparently works with pretty much all scene dumps. Um, you can get it from this link right here. I'll link it in the description. Uh, so basically, the Pokemon header, uh, I believe, you know, I'm really not sure what firmware to use, uh, but we can go ahead and edit the file size. Uh, it's two gigabytes, so we change this one to F8. You just double, you just double click it and highlight it. I'm using hex edit. You can use any hex editor you want. Uh, it'll tell you that you have to put it into write mode, so you turn off read only mode. And be careful when you're editing stuff. And there, there's F8. That means it's two gigabytes. And we have to change this to card two because Pokemon is one of the few games that runs card 2. Now for firmware, I really don't know what it is for Pokemon X. Uh, I think it might be 4.5 for the latest firmware. Uh, don't take my word as gospel though, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. And really, if, if it's not right, the worst that will happen, from what my knowledge, is that it just won't work pretty much. It won't break your console or anything from what from my understanding. Uh so now that we have the file edited, we're gonna go ahead and save as and then we're gonna type in Pokemon X bin. Because this is the this is the bin file that you wanna inject or you know go ahead and put header. So save that. Now you're going to want to open up Gateway ROM Patcher. 
you're going to want to load your ROM, and you're going to want to find it. So, uh, mine's right here. Uh, it tell it's, it's loaded. Now you want to click Import. And this is a backup, just in case something goes wrong. Uh, I would suggest always doing this. Let's go ahead and save. It's, back, it's backing up the ROM right now. Um, and, you know, if anything was just unclear or just too confusing, you know, it is a little bit, but once you get the hang of it, if you have, like, a uh, knowledge in, uh, like, computer science or you just fiddle around in programming, uh, it's, it's pretty intuitive once you get the hang of it, uh, but if you're not familiar with computers or you're not very good with computers, it can be very tricky. Very, very tricky and very, uh, make your eyes glaze over, over all the let letters and numbers. Okay, so now it finally got done backing up the ROM. We're going to want to set the binary file, and that is Metal Gear Solid. You're going to want, uh, okay, for some reason it didn't save. Oh, it didn't save as a uh, bin. So, we're going to want to go ahead and do that. Okay, first we, <laughs> first we have to close the hex editor. Okay, import. We don't have to do the backup. We already did that. Pokemon X header. Uh, it, it, it's done. It's done. It's already done. Uh, and you can tell if you did it right if you export uh, Pokemon X header test, and you can go ahead and open that up with hex edit, and it'll test to see if it yeah see it properly um, injected it because you can see the code right here. Normally it would just be I think it's just a bunch of Fs everywhere if without because with the scene releases they cut out important bits of code that gateway their backup put which you know the scene releases thought it was useless but you actually need it for online uh, so uh, I'm pretty sure we're almost done uh, the only thing now is to drag Pokemon X uh to your US your micro SD. Go ahead and copy that and it really should work. Uh the only the only way it should if it doesn't work, then that means the hex edit was wrong. Um I'm not one hundred percent sure if the firmware is right. It might be six point one, it might be four point five. Uh I don't know. But um I'm 100% sure on the file size and card type, so just fiddle around with the firmware if it doesn't work, and uh, that should pretty much do it. Um, make sure you keep copies of all your header files. It could it could get really confusing after a while, but you know you get used to it. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, I did kind of ramble, I know, but hopefully this you know was uh, a good tutorial that helps you play online. Uh, <clears throat> one more thing, I actually forgot. Um, when you're putting the game, the newly edited game, uh, into your SD card, make sure you change the extension to 3DZ instead of 3DS. And then it should work.